So we're here in the deserts of Southern California, just a little north of the town of 29 Palms. Behind me is the 29 Palms Marine Corps base. The story of the passage is the story of eight young people who travel from a fortified mountain outpost uh, to Colorado about 100 years in the future. They've been living in a post-technological society, horses, bows and arrows. And it's here that they discover a bunker full of things that they can use, the boxed remains of the last war. They find guns, they find ammunition, they find RPGs, they find Humvees that will actually run, they find MREs. And these supplies are what enable them to become essentially an army to fight the next war. If all human beings disappeared and a hundred years passed, it would look almost exactly the way that it does now. And I've always been very attracted to and fascinated by those places in this country, and there are many of them that are the forgotten places, the abandoned places, the places where it didn't really work out. And there's some evidence left behind of what was there, an empty house, an empty shed, an old car sitting in the middle of a field. And the American West in particular is full of places like this physically spectacular, time-stilled, forgotten feeling. L leadership is, is, is really the central question of the book because um, the human race in the, in the passage is faced with essentially an unwinnable situation. That's how it's framed. Um, it's sort of over for the human race and you have a group of human beings who are essentially living in a giant lifeboat but there's no shore to get to and there's no help coming. At the core of this book, there is a struggle. And the struggle is for humanity to survive. But that struggle always has in it, wedded to it, an adjacent struggle, which is the struggle to be worth surviving. And I think that is the question that a book in which 40 million people have been turned into immortal monsters and a few thousand have not. That's the question that's built into it. And that is, what does it mean to be a human being and who gets to be one?